going to win a major championship is going to be the U.S. Open. <laughs> you know, you really have to feel good for Reyes. Catherine Reyes wins it. He wins it. And I'm not going to say anything else, Mike. For the title world champion, he's the king of the nine ball ring, Efren Batarayez. His cue raised in a victory salute. He'll be leaving Cardiff on cloud nine tonight. The magician, Efren Batarayez. Efren Batarayez, a pro pool player considered as one of the greatest of all time, is 66 years old. He was born in Papanga, Philippines on August 26, 1954. Along his career as a pro pool player, he has won more than 70 international titles. He was first introduced to pool sport when he was still five years old after he moved to Manila with his uncle who owned a pool hall. At that time, he helped his uncle by cleaning the place and would sleep on a pool table after the place was closed. In 1963, when he was still nine years old, he won his first money from a pool match. At that time, he had to carry a Coca-Cola crate around as a footing due to his height that was still not tall enough. After that, he continued to compete in three cushion billiards until 1970s. In early 1980s, Efren Batarayz was already one of the best pro pool players in Philippines and had already won numerous pool tournaments in the home country as well, including the Philippine Professional Pocket Billiards Championship. The funny thing was that he had to use an alias, Cesar Morales, to hide his true identity because if people knew that he was Efren Reyes, then they would surely not want to compete against him in the first place. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's too rail banking it, Roth. Are you kidding me? He's too rail banking me. it. Oh, oh my God. Two bands with O. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. In 1988, Efren Bado Reyes participated in the World Pro Tournament, which was the largest pool tournament at that time held in Tokyo, Japan. He was one of the total 900 participants in the tournament. He had a very smooth run there that he was able to reach the grand final round of the event. Unfortunately, his opponent at that time was another Filipino pro pool player, Jose Among Parica, defeated Reyes with 9 against 3 racks 1. With that, Reyes had to let the 5 million yen reward go to Parica. It was, in fact, the largest pool tournament reward at that time. So he's going to go up and down the table. Kind wow, like, what a shot. Kind of like that. Reversing the cue ball. Great shot. Creating a nice angle for himself to go not only down the table, but back up unscathed in position for the one. Well, that's kind of what Effort needed. Uh, he kind of got a little fortunate on the kick shot. He's finally going to win a major championship. It's going to be the U.S. Open. <laughs> you know, you really have to feel good. In 1994, Efren Batarayz won the 1994 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. His win in the annual tournament really encouraged other non-American pro pool players to compete in the tournament even more. It's because Reyes became the first non-American pro pool player who won the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. It was a very great achievement considering that the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship had been dominated by American pro pool players for almost two decades since its inaugural event in 1976. However, it's not very surprising because the event is like the pride of the United States, so that Americans are more expected to win the annual tournament. He's made it. He's made it. Yes. <laughs> Nefren will be the first to reach 119. Yes. A two-game lead and just one game to go for Edward Reyes in a tremendous comeback in this game. 
In 1996, Efren Badares participated in a single match challenge against a legendary American pro pool player, Earl the Pearl Strickland, in an event called Color of Money, which was a commemoration of a movie of the same name starring Tom Cruise. Reyes was able to win the match in a race to 120 format, which was held in three days with 120 against 117 racks won, although he had been left 17 racks behind in the match. By winning the Color of Money, Reyes received $100,000 as a reward, making it the largest single match reward in history, even until now. In 2003, a friend Bada Reyes was inducted into the Billiard Congress of America Hall of Fame due to his great achievements, making him the first Asian to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. He doesn't have it. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. The pool gods. Making it look easy, however. In 2005, a friend Bada Reyes won the International Pool Tour, or IPT, King of the Hill. By winning the tournament, Reyes received a reward worth $200,000, making it the largest pool tournament reward in history at that time, as well as the largest one Reyes had ever received. His match in the grand final round of the IPT King of the Hill is very famous because he had a flawless victory against his opponent at that time, Mike Captain Hook Siegel, with 8 against 0 racks won in the first set. The second set was also won by Reyes with 8 against 5 racks, so that Siegel didn't really have the chance to tie the match by winning a single set. Well, those are all about a friend bought a raise. If you have something to add, please feel free to write it down in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.